All right, on my video bitching about the forklift, about how close they were parked and it's out of fuel and all that shit, people in my comments decided that they needed to let me know that there was other problems that I didn't list. But I didn't think I had to list all of them. So, for the idiot that said I can't read this, that bitch is empty. Okay, that's the point of the needle. It's not over there. Every propane tank, it's top right. Okay, this is not full of fuel. Okay, it is propane. <laughs> Alright, most forklifts have a third pedal. This one doesn't. I have seen forklifts that don't have the third pedal. That's fine. You can't read the fucking placard. You can read this, however. This is true. This is on every forklift. No riders. There's no fucking keyhole. You're telling me that this line right here is supposed to be where they stick the key. That's fucking stupid. Also, if we look right here, where is the other side of the fucking seatbelt? Okay? You can, you got this side, all right, right there. Where is it? Furthermore, these fuel canisters, I don't know what's in them. Somebody said it's nitrogen. I'm not fucking sure, but I do know that that's not how you lift them. The fork outside of the fucking, that, it, that's not right. Oh, seriously, come over here. Both y'all come over here. Tell me what this fork over here is doing. It's lifting via Bluetooth. See how the fork's not oh, under the thing? Yeah! I mean, you're definitely not supposed to have a suspended load of some kind of fucking fuel over here. Okay? Also, your forks aren't down, but somehow the hydraulic lines on the mast are loose. That only happens when your forks are in the correct downward position tilted forward. These lines should be tight since this is elevated. They put the little rolly thing so that you can adjust, for anyone that operates forklift, this right here that spins is for your weight. You adjust that to elevate your seat up and down on the forklift so that when you smack into a pothole, you don't bottom your spine out on the machine. They felt the need to add that, but didn't add a lever to lean the seat back or the lever that goes under here that slides the seat forwards and backwards. Also, a there's a pin. Shut up, bitch. There's a pin that's missing right here that lets you slide the forks and adjust them as needed. You lift up on it, and then you slide it, and then you push it back down again. It's not there. Everything else is here, but the ability to adjust your forks so you could pick up the fucking pallet instead of Bluetoothing your fork to the right is gone. No wonder they couldn't pick this up properly. A war broke out while he was trying to figure this shit out, and he said, Fuck it. It's a job for first shift. <laughs> and for everyone saying these grades can be walked on, safety would have a shit fit if you step on this. It needs a cover over it. See? See the covers? That's walkable. This is not. Neither of them are drivable. That's why it has the little paint areas around it. This is a danger zone where you don't fucking drive your forklift. You want to talk about shit? Oh, well, I don't know if that's uh, fuel in there. This is Nova 6 that you left on the pallet on the forklift. Forks are in the motherfucking air. Goodbye, ankles. Slice your fucking leg muscles. You walk past that bitch. Back up into it and put weight on your calf. Just get rid of it all. That's what this is for. Safety would literally execute you for this. And again, the forks are in the air. None of this is touching the ground. It is not at the bottom of the mast. This bitch is clearly in the air. Why are the hydraulic lines all fucking a foot and a half loose? It, these would be tight. These should be tight. The only person that would think that this is an acceptable forklift for their multi-million dollar video game that takes up half of my fucking hard drive is an idiot that never got certified!